Hey guys, before we get into it today, I just wanted to let you know that I posted a new video on the gaming channel of Jeeves and I playing SCP Unity, which is a remake of SCP Containment Breach, which is a very scary game, and I think it'll be very fun for you guys to watch me and Jeeves basically shit our pants for the whole video. Uh, it, it is it's just scary. So shout out to Doug J. Dempsey for recommending the game. Uh, it's definitely a really cool game, and Jeeves put a lot of work into editing the video. Uh, so I'd highly recommend checking it out. She is the best editor in the world, like hands down. So definitely go and check it out. Link in the top right, also one in the description. And uh, I should be posting a new video tomorrow on that same channel uh, of me playing Pokemon White. If you like the main series games, then you can go and check that out. I'll leave a link to that one in tomorrow's video. Hope you enjoy the video. And now I come in with the Dragalgy and it's looking pretty bleak, right? It's looking like I'm gonna lose, right? No, I farm down the stupid Galvantula. Uh, no, y you lose the CMP tie and you get a trash can to your dumb, stupid face. Goodbye, as I'm Bob Rill. <laughs> Ooh, goes for the resisted power of punch. Now I just dragon tail it down. Don't shield this. Yes, okay, I land the gunk shot, very nice. And they surrender. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shrady and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a Pokemon that I already did a video on and then that video got deleted by my dumbass because I'm stupid. Uh, and I also deleted the battles so I had to go do more battles so that I could make this video that I already made that I edited for six hours. So I'm a bit frustrated if you can't tell. So if there's less editing in today's video, that is why it is 2 p.m. and the video is supposed to be out at 10 a.m. So, no further ado, let's take a look. It is this purple shrimp guy. That is right, Dragalgy. And Dragalgy has Dragon Tail, which got a buff this season. If you didn't know, well, now you're about to know that Dragon Tail does way more damage than it used to. Uh, it's actually very similar to Charm now, but better than Charm because you actually can get to charge moves. So, in season seven, Dragon Tail did, uh, it had six DPS, which is damage per second. And then it had overall energy per turn is 3.33. So not great. And the damage wasn't good either. Uh, whereas Dragon Breath is 8 damage per second and 3 energy per turn. So much better damage, but uh, less energy generation. And now the new Dragon Tail does 8.67 damage per second and 3 energy per turn. But I'm pretty sure it does about the same damage as Charm. I'm pretty sure it's one less damage uh, than Charm. And the energy generation got, you know, nerfed a little bit, but not that much. Dragon Tail wasn't like the greatest for energy generation anyway. Now it's just, it's an overall better move than it, way, way better move than it used to be. And actually is better than Dragon Breath, which is crazy. Uh, so yeah, Dragology has Dragon Tail. So let's take a look at the team. Uh, I ran two different teams with this thing and then I forgot both of them. So I just made a new team. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm still frustrated. Anyway, so we've got Skarmory in the lead with Air Slash, Brave Bird, and Sky Attack. And then we have uh, Shadow Drapion with Poison Sting, Aqua Tail, and Sludge Bomb. And then we have Dragalgy in the back with Dragon Tail, Gunk Shot, and Aqua Tail. Um, so yeah, not really much else to say about this. It is an ABB team with two Poison types in the back. Uh, and I'm hoping to bait out the best poison type counter, which, um, you know, like Whizcash is probably like the worst Pokemon or, or most of the Mud Boys are really bad for this team. Although, Drogalgy with that uh, half dragon type, it actually resists most of like Hydro Cannon. It'll resist, it'll resist. Uh, it's a good counter to Galvantula because it resists Lunge and Discharge. Yeah, it's, its resistances are many, uh, but its weakness is basically just Ground. Uh, ground and Metachamp. Metachamp's not a good Pokemon either. But either way, let's get into it because I don't have, uh, you know, the most time in the world. We're going to go through these. I'm going to run these uh, at, a, at a pretty slow speed than what I was running them at, but should be fine. Should be fine. Going into the first battle, picking up a very positive lead up against a Venusaur, double resisting everything coming out of that thing. They come in with our own Skarmory, and I do not have a good response to Skarmory uh, as both of my back Pokemon uh, are going to do resisted damage with everything except for Aqua Tail. Uh, yeah, only Aqua Tail is going to do neutral. So I'm actually going to stay in here with my Skarmory, and I really want them to throw all of their energy because uh, I don't want to go into my Drapion until, okay, they threw a Brave Bird. That's actually, that's really good for me. I don't know why they threw a Brave Bird. 
Uh, I am going to decide to shield this up because I forgot how much energy they had, and it's another Brave Bird, so very good shield. Unfortunately, that was a CMP tie. My Skarmory really sucks. Its IVs are not good. Uh, as you can see, 0, 4, 11, but it maxes out at 1479. Um, okay, I come in with my Drapion knowing I can get to this Aqua Tail at the same time they get to a Sky Attack, and I can force the CMP tie. This is definitely going to be taking it out. Uh, yeah, but the thing about my Skarmory is it, it loses most CMP ties, but its IVs are not great, so... Uh, they come back in with a Venusaur, which is great for me. My my whole team can do pretty well up against Venusaur as uh, we, we all resist all of the charge moves. Uh, Frenzy Plant, Sludge Bomb, it's all resisted. Uh, and um, Dragalge even double resists the Frenzy Plant, right? Yeah, double resists Frenzy Plant. So I'm going to go for this Aqua Tail because I landed the Sludge Bomb and this should take him out. And he comes in with a Bastiodon and I am in trouble. My whole team loses to Bastiodon. Uh, Non-Shadow version of Drapion actually uh, wins against Bastiodon, but the Shadow version does not. So I'm going to come in with the Dragalge here, and I was like really slacking. You're going to see me let so many fast moves sneak in here, uh, and I was getting really frustrated about it because I was just, I was not on top of my game this morning. <laughs> uh, so we can do super effective damage here with Aqua Tail, as you see there, letting a smack down through, which almost costed me the game, you're going to see. Uh, so I'm actually going to, I have to sack swap here, and I let another smack down through, which is like almost guaranteeing that they're going to win unless I sack. Uh, so I come in with the Skarmory, and fortunately he did throw... Um, I could have tried to force, I could have thrown the sky attack there, but I didn't remember that I had one. Uh, he does hit the bubbles there, which is really good for me. And now I just have to get to two Aqua Tails, but this time I couldn't. Like, if I let a smack down through right there, then they were going to beat me to the charge move. But since I was actually able to prevent a fast move, now I can get to this Aqua Tail and force a CMP tie. Oh, that wasn't even a CMP tie. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually able to take out a Bastiodon with a Dragon Poison type. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty freaking nuts. So yeah, definitely the sack swap won me the game in that case. It would have been a lot easier if I wasn't letting so many fast moves through, though. All right, into the next battle. Going up against Kyofficer Jenny. Picking up a most likely negative lead here. I'm going to switch into my Drapion. Um, and then he comes in with a Scrafty. And I, I love when people come in with counter users other than Metacham. I hate Metacham. Uh, but Scrafty's fine because he can only go for power up punch here. I mean, he can go for a resisted foul play if he wants to, but there would be no reason to. We are taking neutral damage from the fighting because poison resist and then dark takes super effective from. Uh, I almost built up to the sludge bomb there, but I was one short, unfortunately. But I think this Aqua Tail might even take him out, so. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that's pretty unfortunate because if I went for the sludge bomb there, I would have one switch. But I'm going to let this come through because I was able to bait out um, the fighter, which is okay. Uh, I, I can obviously get rid of it with Skarmory, but I haven't spent a shield yet, so that's pretty good. I expect that Mew to come back in, but it's actually a Galvantula. Okay, so Dragalge is definitely going to be my win condition in this case. Don't need to shield any of this. It's most likely a lunge, because you know how Galvantula users do. They just throw lunges, even if it's double resisted, but I know Discharge is also resisted there, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, so he comes in with the Mew, and he throws a Surf, which is uh, telling me that he probably has Surf and Wild Charge, with their bo which are both resisted by Dragalge. So we're going to throw the Aqua Tail that does basically nothing. Uh, I am going to let this next charge move come through because I'm pretty sure it's a Surf. It takes five Shadow Claws to get to a Surf. I'm going for the next Aqua Tail here. And you'll see, like, if you look at the Dragon Tails, they are no joke. So I'm going to switch into my Skarmory here and dare them to throw a Wild Charge at me. Uh, I'm not even going to throw the charge move here. I am going to shield this up, though, because I can farm this Mew all the way down and then have a Sky Attack to throw at the Galvantula. Uh, I throw the Sky Attack here. I probably should have thrown the Brave Bird because uh, that would debuff my defense and he would probably get less farm. Uh, oh, never mind. This is actually going to force him to throw instead of farm me down. So Sky Attack was the right play there because he has to throw a Discharge to take me out. And now I come in with the Dragalge and it's looking pretty bleak, right? It's looking like I'm going to lose, right? No. I farm down the stupid Galvantula and then throw an Aqua Tail at this stupid blue bubblegum guy over there so dragalgy clutched that one um so if you can't tell i have been trying to use dragalgy as a closer and in the battles that you guys weren't able to see because i deleted the fucking video uh <laughs> i was actually using dragalgy in the first team as a, a safe switch and in the second team as a safe switch and it actually works pretty well as a safe switch as well because you're most likely going to bait out uh, like a Galarian Stunfisk or something like that, and you can at least hit for super effective with the Aqua Tail. All right, so we pick up a, a lead against an Obstagoon, a very neutral matchup. Either one of these Pokemon can win, uh, but uh, Obstagoon does get to the charge moves a lot quicker than Skarmory does. So as you see here, he's already getting to his second Night Slash. I'm going to go like I'm going for the Brave... Oh, I do go for the Brave Bird. I do go for it. Is he going to shield? Probably going to shield. 
does shield, but that's fine. I'm going to come in with the Drapion now because my um, my Dragalge has a good matchup against counter users because it resists counter other than Metacham because Ice Punch and Psychic are both super effective. So he comes in with a Charmer, which is a very surprising move, I guess, because his Charmer has a bad matchup against his Skarmory. And then he also over farms, which allows me to get to the Sludge Bomb and take him out. So interesting play there. Um, my my uh, both my back Pokemon take neutral from Charm. All right, so he comes in with the with the Galvantula here, and I'm able to get to this Aqua Tail before I go down. Pretty sure one Volt Switch is going to take me out. Yep, took me out. That's fine. Now we come in with a Dragalge and look to Dragon Tail down, which uh, I know I'm going to get debuffed, but that's fine. Look at the Dragon Tail still. Like, they're pretty nuts. It, it looks like a Charmer is taken on this thing. You know what I mean? So he goes for the lunge and he comes back in with the Obstagoon. I am going to shield this up because I I realize here that my Dragalge is definitely my win condition. And now I make a mistake. I switch into my Skarmory uh, and he knows that I don't have a charge move and I'm not going to get to one. So he farms me all the way down, which is very, very rough. But those air slashes did enough damage and I also win the CMP tie that I actually take him out. So ended up working out for me in the end somehow. Uh, and now I've just <laughs> slapped that thing with my, my purple shrimp tail there. And it took it out, so very, very nice. This one's going to be satisfying for you guys to watch. If you hate as on Bomberill, the guy on my shirt with the stupid face, you'll like this one. You'll enjoy this. Okie dokie, picking up another very positive lead here. We're going to see what they come in with. They come in with a Pelipper, and um, this is still like a halfway decent matchup for Skarmory. Uh, but the Weather Balls do spam out very quickly because it only takes five uh, resisted wing attacks to get to it. So I'm going to go for the Sky Attack here, and because uh, Pelipper's very glassy, so I kind of expect them to shield. And now I come in with the Dragalge here, because Dragalge is going to resist everything except for Hurricane. And if they decide to go for a Hurricane and I'm able to shield it, I will be able to actually Dragon Tail all the way down. Yeah, that's right, from 3 forced health. You saw how much that uh, health that Pelipper had when it came in, and now I come out of this matchup with a Gunk Shot. So he comes in with an as on Bomberell. I'm going to be going for the gunk shot here. This is going to be throwing a super effective trash can at the as on Bomberell's face. He shields it. That is unfortunate. Now he comes back in with the Venusaur. And right about here is when I was like, okay, I have an opportunity to trash can the as on Bomberell. Because uh, I don't have to do that. I could just take out the Venusaur right there. But instead, I come in with the Skarmory here. Uh, obviously, this is a very, very dominating matchup for Skarmory. We're going to be double resisting everything and doing super effective with everything. Uh, so we're just going to farm this thing all the way down. One Frenzy Plant's not going to take me out. It's not going to be enough. Uh, and then I could have easily, I could have easily Brave Birded the Azam Bomberell here, uh, as you see here. But instead, I decided to go for the Sky Attack because I want to know how much damage a Gunk Shot does to an Azumarill. I figured the Sky Attack will put it in Gunk Shot range, right? So he's going to farm me down and he's probably thinking I'm going to Ice Beam that Dracalgy, you know? Uh, no, y you lose the CMP tie and you get a trash can to your dumb, stupid face. Goodbye, I sound Bob Real. <laughs> very, 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 very nice. This one is also, this one was very satisfying to me. Uh, one of my battles didn't record, by the way, but it was a loss. Uh, so able to go up to rank one on the leaderboard. Very nice, very impressive. I know it's pretty crazy. I'm already on the leaderboard this early in the season. In fact, I started off number one on the leaderboard, so didn't have much to, you know, didn't have much to do in order to get back there. Okay, picking up a positive lead here up against an Altaria. Uh, this is positive for Altaria in the two shield. So um, if you stay in this matchup with your Skarmory, you're most likely going to get some shields if they're really, really, if they really, really want to win. Uh, and if they don't shield, that's kind of a tell that they have something in the back that doesn't want to see the Skarmory. Because uh, most of the time, I, I would imagine most of the time people s switch out of this, you know. Because uh, we're resisting everything here. Uh, but as you see, the Dragon Breaths are adding up very quickly. So we're going to throw this next Sky Attack. And he doesn't shield. Uh, and I'm, I'm ready to play this out in the Zero Shield. I'm just going to let it come through and then farm him all the way down. Uh, in the Zero Shield, uh, Skarmory definitely wins that. Pretty sure in the One Shield as well. But in the Two Shield, you lose. Alright, so what do they come in with? It's a Galarian Stunfisk. I'm going to switch out here. Both of my back Pokemon lose to Galarian Stunfisk. But I can at least hit it for super effective damage with the Aqua Tail. And now, I've been in this matchup here with the Drapion many, many times. Because uh, there's a lot of Galarian Stunfisks out there. And I usually try to call the bait. But if you ever go up against me and you have a Galarian Stunfisk, uh, I will shield everything. I'm always going to shield no matter what. So, you should probably always bait. You know what I mean? Always bait. Um, Alright, so we're going for double Aqua Tails here. One of these is definitely going to KO if he decides not to shield. And I'm looking to get shields here. That's really what I want out of this matchup because I know I'm going to lose it. 
Uh, so there we go, getting the shield, and it was actually a CMP tie, so take that, you stupid bear trap. Waste your energy on my Drapion, I don't give a crap. But now we're going to be coming in with the Dragalgy. It is going to take a team effort to take out this stupid thing. So we're coming in with the Dragalgy, and we're going to be doing resistant damage with everything, and I think they blind swapped there into a Venusaur. This is a terrible matchup for Venusaur. Uh, like, literally everything is resisted. Let's see if they go for Sludge Bomb. Okay, they are smart. They do for go, go for the Sludge Bomb. Uh, his Frenzy Plant is double resisted here. So I'm actually going to go for an Aqua Tail because I know I'll probably have to tank another move uh, if I don't go for this. Uh, I think he's going to get one. Yeah, he got to one anyway. But I will I will not shield this. And let's see, it is a Frenzy Plant, so that's double resisted. It actually does about this. It looks like it did the same damage, but either way. And now I just need to get to back-to-back -back Aqua Tails, and he's not going to be able to get to two Rock Slides. I'm already at two Aqua Tails. So, uh, yeah, Dragalgy, a Dragon Poison type, is a Galarian Stunfist counter. Did you know? Because the more you know, the 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 more you, uh, the more smart, uh, your, your face, brain, your, the, uh, going up against Uber Fatty. Alrighty then. By the way, that, that last battle was the start of the second set. I think I said that. Picking up a positive lead, and they come in with a Lickitung. So I'm going to go for the Brave Bird here before dipping. Uh, but I do want them to throw a Body Slam because I don't want them to force a CMP tie, which it looks like that's what he was trying to do there. So very nice attempt on my opponent's end. But now that he's thrown his Body Slam, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird and then switch into my Drapion. And yeah, I didn't expect a shield there. Lickitung can tank that. Lickitung is a beast, an actual beast. Uh, so we're going to be coming in with the Drapion here and over farming just a little bit so they don't get to another Body Slam. Um, I, I don't think an Aqua Tail KOs because Legatung is so thick. So we're going to go for the Sludge Bomb, which is a for sure kill. He comes in with his Metacham. I'm going to go for another Sludge Bomb. This actually does quite a bit of damage to a Metacham. Yeah, more than half, uh, about 60%. Not able to get to the Aqua Tail because he snuck a counter through. So if I didn't let him sneak a counter through, could have actually got to an Aqua Tail there, but that's okay. Uh, he did farm me all the way down. I come back in with the Skarmory. And this is very, very bad because uh, Dragalgy does not counter Azumarill unless shields are down and you're able to get to the gunk shot. So what I'm going to do here is farm up. Farm up a lot. Pretend like I'm going for a Brave Bird. I did it once already. You know I'll do it again, right? So fine. Getting the shield very good. Now I come in with the Dragalgy. Dragalgy does take quite a bit of time to get to a gunk shot because gunk shot is very heavy energy cost. Uh, I know shield this, which is risky because an Ice Beam would be super effective. But it is a play rough, which only hits for neutral. Uh, now I'm just going to go for the gunk shot here. Getting a bit of lag, so they sneak two bubbles in. Very nice, thank you for that, Niantic. And this is definitely going to be taking out the Azam Bombrail. He decides not to shield, which is a mistake. Probably thought I was baiting, uh, but <laughs> yeah. Ooh, goes for the resisted power of punch. Now I just Dragon Tail it down. Very nice. So there's Dragon Tails. I mean, you guys can tell. The Dragon Tail is no freaking joke. Okay, this next person. Let's, let's take a look at their name. Shout out. I couldn't, I don't know what the hell I said, but massive shout out to this guy, and you will see why at the end of the battle. Huge, huge, massive, massive respect for this Miss Magus hat looking guy over here. All right, so we pick up another positive lead here. We're going to be going for the bait, building up to the Brave Bird, and then going for the Sky Attack. Probably could just go for the Brave Bird, though, to be honest, but I mean, get, I actually do get a shield this time, so very good. Uh, and now I'm going to let him, I think I shield this. Yeah, preserve some health on my Skarmory. I'm playing this one out a little bit differently because he shielded. Now I switch into the Drapion, uh, and I actually bait out a Metachamp, so very nice. This is actually fine. Uh, I'm able to bait out the Fighter, and I can do, I can get shields here. I can get shields for sure, because if he decides to go for a Power Up Punch or an Ice Punch, I will survive that. And this is not enough for a Psychic, so I'm going to let this come through. It is a Power Up Punch. And now, uh, again, if I didn't uh, if I didn't let him sneak a counter in in that first charge move animation, I would get to two Aqua Tails here. Uh, ooh, actually, I still do. I still do. Okay, so Drapion looking clutch. As long as you can call the power of punch bait. So I'm able to take out the Metacham, and they come back in with the Altaria to farm down. And now I come back in with the Skarmory. Uh, the reason I came in with the Drapion there was mainly just um, to bait out any potential ground types, but since I didn't, I can finish off the Altaria with the Skarmory since I have some energy. This Brave Bird's definitely going to be taking out the Altaria, and now I come in with my last Pokemon, and he comes in with his, and it's a Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, so this is looking very, very bad. I need to get to um, three Aqua Tails. I don't know. Even though the Dragon Tails are resisted, they still hit pretty hard, and I tried to call a bait there because I figured it was my win condition, 
and he goes for the earthquake, and then he surrenders, because he was like, okay, all right, with your shadow drapeon and your dragalgy, okay, buddy, you can have this one. Shout out to that guy. You didn't have to do that. You really didn't. All right, and apparently uh, some other battles didn't record, because... Okay, well, I went three and two. There, you get to see it. Uh, oh, all the losses are at the end. Okay, great. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, just kidding. They're all wins at the end. They're all wins. Uh, yeah, this whole video is just me winning constantly all the time. That's why I'm number one on the leaderboards. Yep. Big facts. Going up against Henry! What do you got, Henry? All right, picking up a positive lead once again. They come in with a Jellicent, and I don't have the best response to Jellicent. Um, honestly, if you guys wanted to try running this team, I think I would put Crunch instead of Aquatail on the Drapion, because uh, that gives you a better response to uh, to Ghost types. All right, so going for the bait here, we get the shield, and now we come in with the Dragalgy. We get to see how Dragalgy can do in this matchup here, uh, and I kind of... Oh, I shielded. Okay, actually, that makes sense. Uh, so he does go for the Shadow Ball, which tells me he doesn't have Ice Beam. Ice Beam would be super effective. Uh, and, and he probably is not going to shield anything because he knows that everything I have is resisted. Maybe doesn't know, but, you know, I'm a Dragon and Poison type. I do have Aqua Tail and Gunshot, both are resisted. And I actually am able to farm him down before he gets to another charge move. And now I have a Gunk Shot that I can throw at the Azon Bomb Rail. Don't shield this. Yes! Okay, I land the Gunk Shot. Very nice. And they surrender. <laughs> They weren't too happy about getting the trash can thrown in the face. Okay. This is, uh... This is one of the battles. This will tell you, like, those videos that didn't record, you know, the two losses in that 3-2 and two set. It's basically this. This is exactly what happened in all those losses. Yeah, that guy. That guy. That's, that guy's what happened. Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, this team does not like Galarian Stunfisk. Okay, so he comes in with a Grand Bull, and I... I'm going to die very quickly. It's a Shadow Grand Bull. This thing hits so hard. So I go for the bait, and I could have gone for the freaking Aqua Tail, but I... Nope. I was going for the Sludge Bomb. I figured I could get to it, and I was wrong. So now we come in with the Skarmory and Shield, because it's probably going to be a close combat, and that will do massive neutral damage here. So we're going to Shield that up and then farm down. Unfortunately, we have to Shield that, because there's a Galarian Stunfisk that is definitely coming back in. Uh, I stopped attacking there for a second, because I want the Switch Timer to be up, so I can come in with the Dragalgy right away. And then, do I change my mind? I changed my mind at the last second, and I decided to stay in here. Uh, no idea what this is about. Why are you doing this, Shrady? Because he's going to farm up to a crap load of energy. Oof. Okay, so now I come in with the Dragalgy, and he definitely has enough for an Earthquake. He's, like, pre pretty much close to 100 energy at this point, so I shield it up, and it is an Earthquake. And he comes in with an Ariados. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, we're going to resist everything coming out of Ariados as well. Resisting the bug type moves because of our poison typing and resisting the poison type move because of, you guessed it, our poison typing. Um, so this is really a good matchup, but unfortunately I don't have any response to the Galarian Stunfisk because this Ariados is going to put in a lot of work here. And then I over farm there. I really needed to throw the Aqua Tail right when I got it, but I figured I was going to need a bunch of energy to combat the Galarian Stunfisk. Uh, and yeah, it's just... It only takes five poison stings to get to a lunge, which is absolutely ridiculous. It spams out lunges quicker than Galvantula does. So he comes in with the Galarian Stunfisk, and uh, his play at this point is just to farm up to two rock slides and throw them both. And my play was not to go for the Brave Bird. Needed to threaten two sky attacks instead. Because now he's going to farm up right until I get to the sky attack. Very nice counting on the opponent's end, and he's going to throw a rock slide here, and a rock slide here. So, very nice play. Uh, don't respect your Pokemon choice, but... GG. GG. Okay, actually, we got, we got... The losses aren't all at the end. We just got two right here. I mean, no, this is a win. You better stick around, because this is a good win. Big, big win. Big, big win. Okie dokie. Skarmory into Empoleon. Not a good matchup, and I don't have a good, a good spot, response. In fact, the matchup I switched into, Drapion versus Empoleon, is even worse. So I'm really happy he switched out, but that still doesn't really help me out too much. Uh, so I actually kind of like this matchup here because I can survive the Sky Attack and I can get to two Sludge Bombs. So I'm going to let the Sky Attack come through, and I lied to you. I uh, would not survive until the Sludge Bomb, so I'm going to go for the Aqua Tail. And uh, you weren't counting this, right? You weren't counting? Okay, he was counting. Well, that's okay. Uh, so I did do quite a bit of damage there, but, y you know, it's not... Not, not great. Uh, coming in with the Skarmory, and my play is definitely to farm this thing down. So, yeah, just going to tank whatever. This is probably a Moonblast, because they're only going get to get to one move. 
and now I farm down and I have a brave bird loaded so uh, and then I went for the sky attack I really just needed to commit to the brave bird here so very nice no shield on the opponent's end here and now I'm gonna be building up to the brave bird once again I definitely am gonna have to shield this Dragalge is gonna do very poorly dragon tail aqua tail and gunk shot are all resisted gunk shot is actually double resisted so this is bad. This is bad, right? I go for the break burn, I land it. Okay, win condition spotted. Lose condition spotted. There is a charmer in the back, and I'm not going to get to a bait and a gunk shot. So my only chance at winning this is if they don't shield this. At Come on. Come on. You already know what's going to happen. And there's the rage quit. So very, very nice. The opponent had me cornered there. Okay, all right. I, this one's actually a really good one. I promise. This one and the next battle are the bonus battles. So... Actually, yeah, I'll do some silence. Silence? Oh, never mind. In the Wilson in the Wilson is my opponent. We pick up a lead against a Mew, dangerous lead to be in. So we're going to switch into the Drapion here. And once again, I bait out a Scrafty. Uh, so is there some sort of like Mew double dark team uh, that's running around? Because I've been seeing the Mew lead with a Scrafty switch into my Drapion uh, twice today. And I only did three sets. You guys let me know in the comments. I'm sure somebody's probably popularized the team. Uh, so I'm actually going to be going for the Aqua Tail here because Aqua Tail, believe it or not, pretty sure is going to take him out unless he's got really good IVs. Yeah, that does take him out. And now he comes back in with the Mew and I go for the Sludge Bomb. Uh, Drapion is very misleading. It gets the Sludge Bombs very quickly. So if, oh, very nice, does like 70% of his health, he decides to farm down with those resisted Shadow Claws, resisted because of my Dark Typing. And now I can come back in with the, uh, the Dragalge here because most likely he's got Surf, Wild Charge, or Flame Charge. And all of those are resisted. Uh, so I decided to shield in case it's a wild charge because I would still do a lot, but it is just a surf and he comes in with a skarmory and I'm gonna go for the aqua tail uh, to just do a little bit of chip damage because I want to ensure that my skarmory can beat his skarmory. Uh, unfortunately, that means uh, I tried to catch a sky attack there, uh, but unfortunately, I'm about to catch Brave Bird's wings. I don't know why I always look at uh, skarmory as if its name was Brave Bird. I think it's just because that's the move I love to use on skarmory. Either way, he goes for another sky attack. That is very, very, very fine. We're going to be going for the sky attack and letting an air slash sneak in because we are a scrub. And now we can just go straight sky attack at this point. Um, I don't think uh, there's any merit to going Brave Bird here because it's just going to kind of ensure that he wins. All right, so he's going to have to throw a sky attack here. Actually, he'll have to throw a Brave Bird to take me out, and I kind of hope he does. Uh, nope, going for the sky attack now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to snipe. Ooh, look at that one resisted dragon tail actually took him out, and then he concedes the match. He's afraid of Dragalge, as you should be. All right, this is the last battle, the second bonus battle. So we had 10 battles and two bonus battles going up against Kanto Green. What do you have for me, Kanto Green? Picking up a very positive lead up against the Shadow Machamp. Actually, it's not like. Shadow Machamp can actually win that, believe it or not. <clears throat> Alright, so this time, again, we baited out a Jellicent, and I notice our moves are off-sync, so I can throw this Brave Bird without a uh, worry of him forcing a CMP tie, and now I come in with the Dragalge since I got the shield, and I think I just no-shield this, right? Because if it's a nice... Okay, well, never mind. Uh, it's probably a smart idea to shield it, so, yeah. He, def he definitely has enough for two, so I'm going to let the second one come through because I will survive it. And I'll be able to survive the hexes per pretty decently long. <clears throat> I'm going to go for this Aqua Tail. This is resisted, obviously, but I think it'll provide enough chip damage that I should be able to uh, Dragon Tail it down. Uh, maybe. Actually, I think maybe the lag helped me out there, but I'm not sure. Comes back in with the Skarmory, and uh, I'm going to be chucking out some Aqua Tails. Uh, Aqua Tail is definitely a terrible move uh, because it doesn't get stabbed. <clears throat> but it is kind of like Dragalge's best bait move, so... Uh, and it at least does neutral to a lot of Pokemon that counter it, so... All right, I think we come back in with the Skarmory here, right? Yes, no, okay, no, no. I forget what Pokemon was in the lead already. Uh, it was something that Skarmory is good against, right? Machamp, okay, it was a Machamp. All right, so I actually throw the Aqua Tail here, and the reason I'm doing that is because, like I said, Shadow Machamp can actually beat Skarmory, because uh, it can it can get to two cross chops, and one of them will do a lot of damage to a Skarmory, even though it's just neutral. Uh, so that Aqua Tail provides me enough time to just farm it down by shielding once. And now it's just that Skarmory in the back. I do have enough for a Brave Bird, so I'm going to go ahead and throw the Sky Attack and hope to get the shield. And I do get the shield, but unfortunately my Switch Timer is not up yet. Uh, so I'm going to, like, threaten the Brave Bird, you know? Uh, so he actually goes for a Sky Attack, which is not enough. And now I had the Brave Bird, too. I had the Brave Bird. What am I doing? 
Uh, I thought, I, okay, overtapped is what happened there. All right, so now I come up with a Drapion and really hope I can get to this Aqua Tail before he gets to a charge move and forces a CMP tie. Boom, Drapion wins that CMP tie against the dumb metal bird. GG to all of my opponents. Uh, <laughs> really glad I was actually able to get some wins here. I actually went positive in all of my sets here. Uh, I went four and one in the first set and then three and two in the second set. So not too bad with this team. Uh, would I recommend it? Not exactly, uh, but it is a very fun team. Uh, and I would definitely recommend you test out Dragalge. It is a very fun Pokemon to use with the new Dragon Tail buff. Uh, it, it's starting to like lean me more to the side of, you know, dare I say it, fast move damage. Uh, as long as I can generate energy pretty quickly, which considering how much damage Dragon Tail does, I would say it generates energy pretty quickly. Obviously it's not good, but you know, I can get to a gunk shot against an Azumarill and that's really all I need. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I would appreciate it if you leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribe as long as you enjoy the content. Uh, and I would really appreciate some support for this video because um, Yes, six hours of work was wasted, and now I got to put some more work into this one. So hopefully it's well received. Also, uh, I'd probably put this in the plug, but just in case somebody skipped the plug and you f for some reason still watching, which is kind of doubtful, but uh, I, I did post a new video on the gaming channel today of me and Jeeves playing SCP Containment. Well, it's SCP Unity, which is a remake of SCP Containment Breach. If you want to go and check that out, it's a horror game, and it's it's very funny. I would say it's very funny to watch both of us get scared because uh, it is a very intensely scary game. So I would highly recommend going and checking that out. Link in the description. So thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Shout out to my patrons, Billy Bravebird, Running Froggy, The North Star, Doug J. Dempsey, Ryan Borowski, Cleric, Dave Adamson, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, King Edward, NC Tech Freak, Austin Gustavik, Darkstone, Moach, Mr. Cookout, Brandon, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Mitsukita, Kit Kulek, Edward O'Neill, Senor Snacks, Grizzinator, Winter Fang, Infamous One, Lord of the Azam Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, Braden Seidel, Trey, and Ankle Weights.